Hey everyone, my name is Heba and welcome back. I have a lip swatching video for you guys and y'all know what that means if you've been watching my channel. I have my makeup consultant with us. He's behind us in the camera, behind the camera there. <laughs> well, hi everybody. I'm very excited to do this video with you. Haven't done it for quite some time. I now, know, right? we missed you. I'm, I was so busy. Yeah, Sorry. I know, I know, but we have you here. I cornered you this time. <laughs> <laughs> I have lipsticks from Dior and it's the Rouge Dior Forever Transfer Proof Lipstick. So I got them for this one and I'm gonna try to get them for another one. Oh, I'm not aware of that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, hopefully we'll get them for that one. But now we got them for the Dior lipsticks and I have two, four, six, seven shades that we could try today. It would be fun. All right, let me let you know what these lipsticks are. Again, they're from Dior and it's the Rouge Dior Forever lipsticks and they're the transfer proof lipstick. What does this mean? I'm glad you asked that. Let me read the description here on the website and see what it does. It's the first transfer proof Dior lipstick in a bullet format. Ultra pigmented for intense color and concentrated in floral lip care. It ensures 16 hour of wear without compromising comfort. All day long, Rouge Dior Forever Transfer Proof Lipstick, oh that's a mouthful, is resistant to contact even with fabrics. The couture color with an ultra matte finish does not budge. The shades are revealed and emboldened more intense than ever. Okay. These are also infused with red peony extra which is the iconic ingredient in the heart of the Rouge Dior collection. It helps maintain the natural hydration of the lips. So that's a tall order. So we're going to try these lipsticks and see if it's transfer proof. And I'm glad that you're here just for that. <laughs> Can't wait for the test. All right, we're trying to keep it G-rated here. Okay. <laughs> and I want to mention that I do have new microphones and it's two microphones and I hope that it works out. I'm mic'd up and so is Shokit. Well, I hope it sounds good. Yeah, I hope so too. I hope I set it up right. This is the first time I've tried using two mics. So we'll see how that works. We'll see. Yeah. And I want to mention my makeup consultant. If you're new to my channel, my makeup consultant is my husband. And whenever I do a lip swatching video, he stands behind and lets me know what's his favorite shade. If I can get the right <laughs> color, right? You're getting better. Come on. <laughs> it's just something fun for us to do and I hope it's entertaining for you guys. It's really fun. Yeah. I like it. I like it too. I missed having you here. Yeah. All right, back to the lipstick. So here's what the bullet looks like. It's kind of a real pretty matte black finish all around. That's really nice. Of course, the CD for Christian Dior. And then on the top and of course on the bottom there. And then when you open it up, it has the skinny lipstick there. And then here is the lip shade, the lipstick. I do like the case that it comes in. Now these do cost $42, but I did get mine at Suffrages and over there it's $35, so it is cheaper. But you have to pay, I believe, $55 for a yearly subscription to get free shipping. But pretty much the first order that I did this year already paid for itself. Ready? I am. Let me get my mirror. Let me zoom you in closer. And let's start with shade 100. I'm going to go numerical order. So this one is shade 100, which is forever nude look. And I want to say this is Dior's iconic shade. So let's see how this one work on my skin tone. It's a little bit, you know, you know, light, mm -hmm. but it looks good in your face. <laughs> <laughs> That's his iconic line there. Looks good on your face. <laughs> I do feel that it's a matte finish. I don't know if it's because of the color, but I am feeling a little drying to it. Maybe my lips were dry when I applied it and I had to add a little bit more. It's kind of kind of sheer on me because this is a light color, but it is very pretty. It's not washing me out. That's pretty. I like it. Now this is the first time I've tried this formula from Dior, so we'll see how this how this wears. But I do feel that it's a little bit drying, and it's kind of showing some cracks. On you my know, lips. I'm I'm seeing that. Oh, you just I'm seeing this crack that you're talking yeah. about, especially on the sides. <laughs> okay, so this is shade 100 Forever Nude Look, which is an iconic Dior nude pink. Let me swatch it on my hand here. So here's shade 100. Okay, I have to say that it is kind of drying. It's not very easy when I'm rubbing my lips together. It doesn't have a good slip to it. Okay, maybe it's the shade, maybe it's the shade. Let's just keep going. I have to say it is taking a long time for it to come off. <laughs> so I think it will stay on. It's not transferable. Mm. <laughs> Next we have shade 300, which is Forever Nude Style. Okay, all right, it's a little bit deeper. Okay, this one feels a little bit creamy as I'm putting it on. 
Yeah, this one's a little bit more creamier. You know, I like the darker color on you. And it's a very beautiful. Is this brown? You can say it's a brown color. Yeah, there you go. Mm, maybe. It matches your, you know, the color of your face. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't say that. Yeah, I'm going to keep that in. <laughs> I like it. I like this one too. It's not drying on my lips like the first one, shade 100. It still doesn't have a good slip to it when I'm rubbing my lips together, but it's a prettier shade than the first one that I tried, 100. So this is shade 300, Forever Nude Style, which is a deep taupe nude. You know, the longer I keep it on, the drier it becomes. Mm. You know what, let me try something. Oh, there's still a little bit left. There's still some showing there. Maybe it just needs to dry more, but it does feel kind of drying on my lips. Maybe I need a gloss on top of it, but if the color stays on my lips, a gloss probably would be okay. It will just make my lips feel, you know, have a nice slip to it, but the lipstick will be still on my lips. But I do like the shade number 300. Next is 416 Forever Wild. Ooh, like mm. that name. All right, so here is shade 416. What do you think of color? Again, I love this color. I think the darker it gets, I love it more. Yeah, I know. We all know you love the darker shades. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think this color is? I think it's still brown. You think it's still brown? Yeah, I, I think it might have some hint orangey. Okay. Yeah, and the hint brown. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It applies creamy, but as it settles on my lips, it starts to feel a little bit dry. It's where it's kind of hard to rub your lips together. But I do like this shade. This is to me like a burnt orange to me. <laughs> yeah, you're better in color than me. No, you're getting there. You're getting there. <laughs> so this is 416 Forever Wild, which is an ochre. I do like the shade. It's a mm. nice fall color. Next is number 558 Forever Grace. All right, and here is 558. Got a good collection so far. Okay, so here's 558 Grace. Again, it's getting better and better <laughs> as we go. He's going to be biased. Yeah. You know that. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Seriously, it's a really beautiful color. Let's have some hint of a pink to it. Yeah. Again, as it stays on my lips, it is kind of drying to where it doesn't have a good slip to it. But if it stays on for 16 hours and it doesn't suck the, the life out of your lips, then it'd be good. Mm -hmm. So this is 558 Forever Grace, which is a deep rosewood. Halfway done. Halfway done. That's okay. I'm enjoying it. <laughs> okay, good. I am too. And I hope you are too. Next is 825, and this one is a limited edition shade. And this is Forever Unapologetic. Ooh, I like that one. This is the limited edition shade. Oh, I love this one. I, I do love this one. Yeah, I like this color. It's a nice fall color. Mm -hmm. I know you like the deeper shades. Oh, yes. So this is 825 Forever Unapologetic, which is a limited edition, and it's a brown. Next, we have 840 Forever Radiant. So here is number 840. Yes, very nice. It's just like, that's red orangey color. There you go. Very, very nice. Very nice. He's getting good. This one does feel a little bit drier than the others that I've tried. Yeah, this one's a pretty shade. Mm -hmm. I like it. So this is 840 Forever Radiant, which is a deep brick red. And the last one that I have is number 866, which is Forever Together. Oh, perfect. I like the name. <laughs> so here's the last one that I have, mm -hmm. 866. You can kind of see the remnants of the other shades in my cracks, in my lips here. <laughs> okay. Very beautiful red color. Very beautiful. Yeah, this is like a blue-red. It does kind of, you know, make my teeth white. This is very rich color. Oh, there you in go. Your lip. There you go. So this is 866 Forever Together, which is a brownish red. Okay, can we try this transfer proof? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, we will. Let me go ahead and zoom you out. We'll bring my makeup consultant here and we'll test this out to see if it's transfer transfer proof. <laughs> Come on, try to sit here beside me. Okay. All right, here's my makeup consultant. Hello, everybody. <laughs> we missed you. Yeah, I, I miss doing this. Yeah. I haven't done it for a long time, but it, it's fun. I mean, it's, it's fun. Yeah, we know you like it. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> okay, let's see if it's transfer proof. Okay, ready? Ooh. Hmm. That's a little bad. Yeah. That's a little bad at all. Now with the shades that I've tried, which one is your favorite? You know my favorites are darker colors. I think the three, the last three ones that you tried. These three? Yes. Okay. I, I like the one in the middle, and then this one, and then this one. Okay. So you like 840, this one in the middle, and then this one, 866? 
That's the best one, yes. Uh-huh. And then 825. Yeah, the first one, 100, I think is just a little too light Pale. for me. Yeah. 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 It's pretty, Still but... Still something for the morning. You can use it, you know. Uh-huh. But for night, I like this colors. <laughs> yes. I like the darker colors. <laughs> it does feel dry on my lips, but it's not drying on my lips, if you know what I mean. Because yeah. some of these lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, they just suck the life out of your lips. But this one, it does feel comfortable, but... It just doesn't have a good slip to it to where you can, you know, rub your lips together. And it does kind of, you know, show my textured lips. There is no wrinkles. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> yes, I do have wrinkles. No, I don't see it. But I think if I put a lip gloss over it, I think it would be okay to where it will have that good slip. But hopefully the color will still, you know... 16 hour wear. Do you have lip gloss now? You can try yeah, it. Yeah, I do. See, he's doing good. Okay, I don't have a Dior lip gloss, but I do have a Chanel lip gloss. And let's see what color this is. One, 119. And this one is more of a pink, but let's try it. Oh. It's a bit shiny and nice. Yeah, it did it's kind of smooth it out a little bit, but we'll see. In the description box down below, I'll let you know if it did stay on, if the lip gloss helped, if it made a difference, if it made it worse, but I'll let y'all know. But so far, adding the lip gloss does make it yeah. feel a little bit more comfortable. We'll see after we eat our lunch and everything, how it stay or not. Yeah, and hopefully that the mic did help. I haven't heard it yet, but we'll yeah, see. We'll yeah, we'll see. I we'll hope see. we don't have to do this yes. again. <laughs> yes, I hope not. <laughs> well, all right, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video, and thank you, Shokit, for oh, being here. Yeah. You're always welcome. You're always welcome. It's I'm about enjoying time. It. I'm enjoying it. It's about and time. It's fun. It's fun. <laughs> Again, thank you so much for watching this video. And if you liked it and enjoyed it, please give us a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> and hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos like this. And hopefully to see you again. Sure. Be back. Yes. And we hope that you all have a wonderful, wonderful day. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.